Travis here with the Modern Bay Company. Uh, today we have the Billy Goat build. Uh, this bus is amazing. Uh, I love this thing. So it's a 79 West Sylvia, as you can tell. Uh, but the owners, um, they are from Wyoming. And they have had this bus, I believe he said, let's see, it's 79, since the early 80s. I think it was 82, 83, something like that. So they bought it when it was not very old. Uh, they took their kids uh, home in this bus uh, drove it for years and years. It is a treasure for their family, uh, like so many of your buses are, and like like our buses to us. And so, I just I love that part about it. I love the story. I love the history. Uh, this bus in particular, though, is in just beautiful shape. This is original paint bus, original interior. It's got 140,000 original miles on it, um, and so it's it's really really cool. In fact, Bob even joked that the spare, the front, uh, the spare on the front has original German air in it, uh, even. So it's just so, so cool for me to get to work on buses like this. Now, unfortunately, while the engine is original, um, original doesn't always mean great because it's in pretty poor shape. Uh, phenomenally, they did drive it about seven hours to, to get here, but uh, as you'll probably see in the video here, uh, it's, it's a bit of a chore to get it started, to keep it running. It dies at every stoplight. Um, it's got problems um, and needs to be uh, addressed. And Bob and Cindy, uh, we're doing the works to this bus, steering, brakes, suspension, uh, motor, transmission, everything that this guy needs. Uh, we are going to get it running in tip-top shape uh, with the Subaru conversion so that they can use it for years to come and then someday pass it down to their kids as well. So uh, we're going to take a look around, do a 360, and then I'm going to start pointing out all the things uh, that we're going to be addressing or that may need to be addressed just to provide a, a kind of a, a snapshot of a point in time of this bus in this bus's life uh, before we do what we do to it. So uh, let's get started. All right, Billy Goat build. So this is the the uh, startup, probably the last time this engine's gonna run, this bus is gonna run with an air-cooled engine. And so uh, it's having some problems, which obviously is, is why it's here. So uh, we're gonna see how she starts here. It's not liking me. Oh, we got a little bit. Now, I've noticed with Billy Goat, uh, once it starts, I got to really keep it running. So close. I know so many of you out there have done this dance with your buses and do it every day. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's cruise. Window down. And we're off to the races. So believe it or not, Billy Goat actually drove about seven hours uh, under its own, oh, we're dead. There we go, all right. So Billy Goat actually drove about seven hours under its own power to get to the shop. Once it's going, hey, we're okay. Uh, it'll stay going, but this engine is tired uh, and uh, that's why they're replacing it, obviously. So uh, we're getting ready to do the intake, uh, and I call it the intake sort of the 100 point inspection, um, looking at everything in, on, around the bus, and cataloging it um, as part of the build. So here we go. Yes, there we go. Don't start it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and we're off to the races. Well, let's see how fast she'll go. So 425. And here is the motor. You saw what shape it's in, how it runs. It does run, not great. And this is 140,000 original mile unit. And I got respect. I got mad respect for this motor. Uh, it's gonna live on in another Volkswagen. Now you can't see me in this video, but we are going to redo the brakes, front, rear, everything in between, uh, master cylinder all that to make sure that it is 100% good to go. Look at this floor. Oh, the 
These are rockers. It's gorgeous. All right, so as you can tell, this is the original master cylinder of brake booster. Uh, still working okay, but almost 50 years old, so that is going to get replaced along with the rest of the braking system on this guy. So, original carpet. I just, I geek out about this stuff. I love it. The tent on top looks like it's in great shape. Uh, which is fantastic, um, as well as the interior back here. Um, overall, just just looking phenomenal. So nothing we're gonna really do, not a whole lot we're gonna do in there. Maybe clean the floor, but that's about it. All right, one more thing. So e-brake, uh, we're gonna redo the brakes, but this will be fully adjusted. So we go seven to nine clicks. So it should be an 80 right there. You shouldn't have too far to pull that out until it's nice and tight. This one, <laughs> like most of these e-brakes. So uh, we'll get that guy adjusted. It'll, this e-brake also doesn't hold the bus uh, really at all. So got the bus chalk in place, but another you know minor thing, but also kind of major thing if you need it uh, is the e-brake. And we're gonna address that as well. All right, so that is the rundown. Uh, that's kind of what we call the intake uh, for the Billy Goat, Bob and Cindy's 1979 Volkswagen bus. I just love this bus. It's going to be a lot of fun to work on. Uh, it's clean. It's gorgeous. Uh, and even the wiring does not look like a mess, uh, which it often does, unfortunately, um, on a lot of the buses. But I think this guy is going to be smooth sailing. We're really excited to jump in. Um, and honestly, you know, it's got its stuff, but every single bus, just like every one of us, uh, has our stuff, right? Um, the things that, um, you know, the problems, the things we need to address, all that stuff. So, didn't mean to get all uh, philosophical on you there, but uh, we're going to be addressing all this stuff so that Bob and Cindy can turn that key and find their adventure. So, all right. Thanks for tuning in.